Welcome to the third video in which I specifically and exactly show you how I lost 35 pounds in just two months. Today I'm going to go through the exact best of the best foods. I came about this list by looking at nutrient la uh, labels on the sides of food packaging and put them all in spreadsheets, over a thousand of them, and analyzed all the information I got. First off, the bad things in your diet, and these are the things I aimed to eliminate. fat cholesterol, sodium, carbohydrates, and sugar. I want to specifically not uh, tell you to eliminate carbohydrates or sugar altogether, but you should try to aim at consuming good carbohydrates and sugar, which I will show you exactly how to do. The good things in your diet, calories, they give you energy, fiber, they eliminate waste from our bodies and lower your overall cholesterol, protein repairs our nerves, vitamin A gives us healthy skin, hair, and helps us see in dim light, and are necessary for bone growth and tooth development. Vitamin C helps you to maintain capillary bones and teeth. Iron helps to deliver oxygen throughout the body and along with other things. And of course, there are numerous other vitamins and minerals that are very important to your body. Now onto the list. This list was compiled by eliminating the bad things I just mentioned and looking for those that increase the positives most of all. And after I quantified that information, I found that it is my belief that blackberries are the absolute best food you can eat. And this is in order. And second on the list is jalapeno peppers, peas, corn, and eggplant, and so forth and so on. You can obviously pause this to look at this list, but it is in order. There are additional. I chose 51 just because that's the way it worked out. Also want to show you, uh, here you can see mozzarella cheese, non-fat is listed. What I did with this list was I tried to include a certain number of cheeses, a certain number of bagels, breads, cereals, even different spices, so that the list wasn't just like a giant list of vegetables and fruit, which wouldn't be useful to anyone. And you can see here, additional lists. I pointed out specific manufacturers only in those cases in which I thought they provided a superior product, like for example the Del Monte tomatoes in a can with low sodium. First here we'll look at foods that make you feel full. Jalapeno peppers, asparagus, romaine lettuce, broccoli, green peppers. These are all of the different foods you can consume that will fool your body into believing it's full even whenever it is not. These right here are those foods with the highest amount of fiber per overall calorie. And you'll see number one on the list is all brand brand buds. I'm not being paid by them. It just ends up that that's the way it worked out. Now we'll look at the highest amount of protein per calorie. For all of the nutrition uh, labels I inputted into my spreadsheet, applesauce, being very specific to Mott's natural applesauce, came out number one on the list. So this proves you can consume protein without eating meat of any type. Not only that, but it's the most superior in regards to protein per calorie. Foods with the highest amount of fiber and the lowest sodium, you actually find very often a product that has, does have a lot of fiber, also has a lot of sodium. Jalapeno peppers, again, one here. But there's definitely additional ones here with corn, peas, and eggplant. Quinoa is a grain that makes for a great rice substitute. Foods with the highest fiber and the lowest carbohydrates. Brand Buds wins here again, followed by asparagus, northern beans, broccoli, and so forth. People always ask me what is the best bread that I can eat. I listed here on the left the best bread, and down on the right the best cereals. The second on the list, Bob's Red Mill 10 grain hot cereal can be eaten with water. Uh, the other two, more than likely, you're going to want to eat with either skim fat free milk or with some sort of soy milk. The best cheese. Don't uh, like to tell people this, but it does, it is actually the truth that most cheeses that are healthy don't taste particularly good. Uh, but if you really, really want to lose weight every time you think about eating cheese, just think about how much weight you're taking off and how much healthier you're going to be. But if you definitely want to get some cheese into your diet, these four here are pretty good cheeses overall and pretty healthy overall. Some great cheats. I listed here salsa is number one on the list, especially if you make it homemade. 
because you want to eliminate the sodium that's found in high doses in most store-bought salsas. I love pickles, applesauce, there's different fruit, uh, different types of smoothies and so forth that are also listed here. Best vitamin A foods. It's very easy to consume the total number of vitamins you need. With just a fourth of a cup of carrots, you get 100% of your vitamin A requirements. So that you can see here, it's very, very easy to not overload your diet, just trying to pull in a couple different vitamins. And you can see the same here with uh, vitamin C foods. FDA recommendations. In my personal diet, I try to eliminate uh, fat altogether, and my cholesterol intake is excruciatingly low. My sodium I sometimes have a problem with, but I do keep it within those recommended levels. My overall carbs I don't dwell on like other diets, and my fiber I normally double, sometimes even triple that throughout a day. My sugars are normally pure. Just want to point out that the raw food diet is an absolutely fabulous diet if you can eat it. Um, it is, I would definitely recommend it for anyone who can handle it, but the major problems with the raw food diet, which is you consume immense amounts of fruit sugar, which isn't bad for you by any means, that's great. The negative is that the preparation of the food takes forever, and also it costs a lot of money because you're actually consuming large quantities of fruit and vegetables. So if you can handle that, raw food diet is great, but otherwise I think my diet works out a little bit better. The best foods and meal plans and recipes are available on my website at newthinktank.com. You are able to get them totally for free and without any signing up for anything or anything. They're just out there to look at. There I list the 100 best foods with nutrient data. I give you a one week long meal plan that is extremely detailed and I also include 70 healthy recipes. I would put those in these videos but I think they'd be very boring and tedious. So I hope you enjoy this diet and lose lots of weight and feel better. If you have any questions feel free to leave me a comment. Thank you.